Hey guys, welcome to Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered. This game just came out and you know what's a good idea after finishing Lollipop Chainsaw, a zombie slasher game? Play another zombie game because both games sort of came out back to back, I think. Yeah, like close by. Uh, so I just finished Lollipop Chainsaw like a couple days ago and I just got done editing all the videos which means now I have time to start recording this game. So let's start playing Dead Rising. New game, 72 hour mode. Right, so every Dead Rising game is pretty much under a certain time limit because, you know, story reasons. And so I guess, um, I know this game, there, is there like a shorter mode you can unlock after you beat it at a certain time? Because I know this game has like multiple endings, I think. So I think when you get a certain ending, you like get different modes to be able to replay the game with, to have fun with. So I can't promise I'll get the best ending, but I'll do the best I can. Is it, sweetie? I said, what was that noise? Nothing, sweetie. I just ran over a big frog. No, you didn't, Mommy. Frogs don't sound like that. Mommy, I'm bored. I want to open my eyes. <sighs> Please, just be a good girl and keep your eyes closed like I told you. Okay, sweetie?
Well, they're fucked. Say, buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. You got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that, they sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> She is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics? Jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. There's the music. And now I'm taking pictures. So I know you get XP by taking pictures, and it's like pretty much the main way to do it, other than killing zombies. So I'm gonna take as many pictures as I can. Not bad. Oh, someone's getting eaten. Fight back. Let him get up, let him get up. Fight back. Fight back. Oh, I got some good PP out of that one. 400? Dude, you don't have that much PP in real life. Is this what you came to take pictures of? Sure is. Wait, so can I farm like a bunch of XP from the same photos? Or does not count anymore after the first time? Because I see numbers going up, but I don't, I don't know if that still counts. Autofocus. Oh, you're getting eaten. They're eating you. Let him get a little get up. Come on. Give him a chance. No way. Check that out. Look at all those people. What the hell's happening here? I have no idea, but one thing's for sure, whatever's going on down there, it's not business as usual in this town. <sighs> Alright, got a perfect there. Oh, I got some burning cars. All right, not interesting. They don't care. Got some stragglers over there down the street. <gasps> Hickories. Got it. Explosion 1000 PP. Yeah. Uh, 
I've got to take her up for a sec. Take us down. We have to check out that building. Huh? Where? Right below us. There's a person with a gun. Oh, yeah, show some gunplay. Come on, pop off. You got a gun. You can totally survive this. Unless you're out of bullets. I'm going to take a picture right when she shoots the gun. If she does shoot it. If she doesn't, I'll just t take a picture anyways. Come on, shoot. There you go. Just... Try to go around them. I don't know. There's like a lot of space here. They're really slow. And you're out of bullets. Damn. At least try your best to survive and at least do a flip. Oh. Damn. Oh. Cinematic shot. I want to see the center of town. Take me there. Roger. Hey, can you get me on the rooftop of that mall? You gotta be kidding me! Oh man, you are nuts. Alright, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days. When I get to school. Alright. Whoa! Shit! Oh. Get us back down to that rooftop! I know I'm gonna get my butt chewed up for this one. We're going down. Reporter, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, you came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, going the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well. If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. All right, so turn 19, level up. Already? All right. Time. Frank must be at the heliport at 12 p.m. on the 22nd, or he'll be left behind in the mall. Pay careful attention to time as you play. Move around, adjust camera, and reset camera. 
Prestige points, PP, are awarded for actions such as taking pictures, escorting survivors to safety, or defeating zombies. When the PP gauge is full, Frank levels up. But why did it level up now? Okay, when level up, you can earn a fallen perks. Attack up, speed up, life up, stock up, throw distance up, and a new skill acquired. Check tutorials in the tutorial menu, alright? What's up, Carlito? How's it going? Man. Feels weird playing this. I played all the other Dead Rises games starting from the second game because that one looked a lot more interesting than this one. But uh, I'm glad this remaster came out. And I wonder if this does well. They're going to do the other games because uh, they did that with Resident Evil where... Where did it start? It started with the second game. Well, technically, they, re they redid the first game, I think, as well. But they did a remake of the second game and that is so good. So they decided to do the other games as well. So I wonder if they can do the same thing for Dead Rising. Looks like you're the only journalist that made it out here. I'm looking forward to some nice pictures. <laughs> no, Carlito, I'm not gonna take a picture of your cock. What size is it though? Challenge completed, welcome to hell. Saving. Okay, I can save with the sofa and the public restrooms. During gameplay, you can progress autosave at certain points. Loading autosave data will resume play from that point. Alrighty then. I'm glad to know there's autosave because I know these ga kind of games can be brutal when it comes to uh, saving. What is this? Doesn't matter. PP. Perfect. 5,000? Damn, that's a lot. Level up. I got a jump kick. Press X and mid jump. Yeah. I can't do it here. Yeah, by the way, I kind of don't like how they made Frank look in this game, because... Isn't he supposed to be, like, much younger? I don't know, like, okay, I don't know the exact age of these characters, but... I'm saying, I'm, I'm talking about this because, um... Uh, funny enough, I'm currently in the middle of a playthrough for Dead Rising 4. And, on a technicality, Dead Rising 4 is my longest playthrough, because I only do, like, one video of that per Christmas, because, you know, it's a Christmas game. So, um, in that game, Frank does not look like this. And so I was assuming since they changed the voice actors and they kept the one from Dead Rising 4, is that they'll keep the same sort of design, but just make him look a little younger. But they did not. They they made him look somehow older than Dead Rising 4, which is an odd choice, to be honest. Compass. The compass in the upper part of the screen shows the distance and direction towards any marked scoops or pins you place on the map. Alright, I got a compass. Madonna, where's my little? Quit screwing around! 
Oh, no. Have you seen my baby? I can't live without my precious little sweetie doggy. Oh, where is my Madonna? Where is she? Oh, oh, Madonna. Hi. This is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. Those ain't zombies. What would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now? They're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. <laughs> we should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall and bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On the lake. Come on, pronto. <sighs> Taking photos one. Since Frank is a professional journalist, he can whip out his camera and take pages anytime he wants. All right, point camera, shutter, zoom in and out, tilt left to right. Go to pictures in the pause menu, view the photographs you've taken, and apply a variety of filters. Once the number of photographs you've taken reaches 32, previous photographs will be automatically deleted, starting at the oldest one. Photographs locked with Y will not be deleted. Hey, Lindsay. Whip out camera. All right. Who else needs a picture? Where Brian and Todd. To anyway? He couldn't have gotten out of the mall. He's probably hiding somewhere, shitting in his pants like a chump. Well, even a pussy like him can make a decent shield against the zombies. I guess. <laughs> Perfect. Well, oh, you're scared looking. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Berlin and Dana. I've been with you the whole time, so don't worry. Perfect. Drama. No. No. Take them. Oh, we got a bat is over here. Come on, swing your bat. I need a pose. What do you mean? I'm not scared. Yeah. So, I work for a living. Work? Ha! Is that what you call that hanky-panky with that big-titted secretary now? Oh, please. Perfect. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Listen to you. Every time something goes wrong, you have to break... <clears throat> huh? You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've oh. done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. What the? Alright, first of all, how did he let that old lady overpower them? It was two dudes on her. Hey, yo! Trying to get her away from the door, 
and somehow she put the push him away. Hold on, some juicy stuff here. Fight back. Three thousand PP. Wait, so can I? Theoretically, I'm not sure how this game works. So I'm thinking, can I just like farm these zombies with like a bunch of XP? If I just take the same picture multiple times, or will it eventually like go down because I'm taking the same picture? Flying dodge. <laughs> Look at that picture. It looks like he's running like a dog. Okay, stay direction and dodge with B. Requires a cooldown period before it can be used again. I can dodge now. Jump! Kathy Pearson's dead. Verlene Willis is dead. Todd Mendel's dead. Some objects require Frank to use both hands. He will not be take damage if he gets hit by an attack from the front in this state, but the durability of the object will decrease. Oh, it's like he's a shield. Back off! Back off! I got a whole bench. Somehow I can do this with ease, like it's 10 pounds. It broke. Take picture time. Say cheese. Leveled up, so I can farm them. I'm hard to level up twice. <laughs> Kick didn't work. Dodge, tactical, take picture. Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. As long as those things are in the mall, we'd better not use this door. What are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently, those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey. Hey. Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? <sighs> you really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? Then what are you? I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you.
Well, that was a bunch of characters introduced. As well as shut. Right. I somehow forgot. What's up, Jesse? <gasps> Foods! Gotta pick some of those with me. Apple. Different items before different actions. Some weapons are capable of special attacks performing by holding X. If you're empty handed, you can still attack with X. Attack consume and left trigger with X's throw. Coffee creamer, my favorite. That is. That's coffee creamer? Looks like chocolate milk. Hold on, close. What did I get? I got this. Right, so... I did not get the costumes DLC, so unfortunately, I won't be able to show off any silly business like every other one. What is this one? Like everyone else can. I'm sorry I'm poor, okay? I can't afford the extra $10. You ain't planning on going back down into the mall, are you? I wouldn't do that if I were you. But you young folks never listen to me. Well, if you're gonna go, at least take this transceiver with you. Thank you. Use to open the map. Position the cursor over the shop or icon to view details about it. Place the pin anywhere you like on the map with X. As you approach the pin location, the pin will automatically disappear. That's a cool feature. Hey Jeff, what's up? You, have you seen my wife, Natalie? She should still be around here. Nah, I haven't. But uh, do you want to go to safe house? Looking for someone? I'll lend a hand. Oh, that'd be great, fella. The name's Jeff Meyer, by the way. I'm Frank. I'm a journalist. Perfect. Hey, Jeff Meyer. According to survivors, survivors each behave differently depending on the circumstances and their own varying personalities. It is a good idea to score as many as possible to safety of the security room. So make sure to give them items and defeat enemies in their vicinity. If you call them over, they will move towards you. You can also set a gold marker to make them move in that direction. Alright. What is that? You want an apple? How do I give you the apple? Give it. Score survivors two. You can check Frank's watch with the up D pad to check survivors affinity levels and check their per preferred items. Affinity can be altered through actions such as giving items or attacking survivors. When a survivor's affinity increases, they will find items, defend other survivors, or come to Frank's rescue. Give survivors a preferred weapon and their attack will increase. Give them pr preferred food and they'll recover all their health. This also boosts morale, resulting in more proactive, helpful, helpful survivors. Helpful behavior. Okay, so the the food was to like fill them up completely, so that was pointless. <gasps> you got a bat. Do you want a bat? No, you got a weapon. Never mind. What else got a fan right here? We got a ball. You want? Can I, I can pick it up. Soccer ball. Natalie, what you doing over there? Got another ball. Yo! You see me? Sorry. Pure accident. Jeff. Jeff. Oh, thank God you're okay. Perfect. Oh, Natalie. I'll never let you go again. Perfect. Alright, you two. You mind cutting your joyous reunion short? It's not safe here, but I know a place. I'll take you to the security room. Follow me. <laughs> kickback. What's a kickback? Skill used when breaking free from zombies. When grabbed by a zombie, repeatedly press A. Alright. Follow me! Follow me! Come on! Come on! F 
follow me! Come on, come on, follow me! Come, come, come on, follow me! Let's go, guys. I got my first survivors. I'm never going to the mall again as long as I live. I've had about enough of this. Level up, escort complete. Those things are all over the mall. Be careful. Are those like minor stats upgrades? Because these level ups are just like coming in really fast. So it can't be that good. Attack, speed, life, item stock. All right. Thank you, Otis, for the tips. Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. You look, don't sneak up on me. Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. It, it's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad, or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on, I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Why would she give her gun? That makes no sense. It doesn't matter what kind of situation you're in. It's like her responsibility and she just like gave it up. Engage. Case 1-1 one, one, done. Now I'm in case 1-2. I might do like one case per video depending on how long it is. Aiming. L-T-L-R-X-R-T. -R -R okay, got it. Right, so I'm playing this game with the, um, it's not the standard, it's like the, no, I think it is standard. There's a standard, and there's like a classic way of playing, and I pick standard, because that's like the, the new version the controls that came with the remastered edition, which is pretty much just be able to aim and move around at the same time. Get off. Yeah. What is that? Camera part flash. Toggle flash while reading the camera. Is that like a flashbang? Camera parts. Go to photograph supply shops and mall to obtain custom parts, which will unlock new features of your camera. Not bad. Some info you might want. There's some 
young guy wandering around in Paradise Plaza. He's carrying a camera like you. I guess he must be a photographer too, taking pictures at a time like this. You're both crazy. Ah, so it's a copycat. The Scoop Q provides a list of current requests along with relevant information on survivors. You're able to fulfill the objectives laid out in the Scoop Q before that time runs out. You can receive PP or learn more about the incident. All right. Use your watch and map. You can place pins on scoops. Those will make them show up on the left side of the screen. And the compass at the top of the screen will show the direction and distance. You can place up the four separate pins for scoops. All right. Well, there's a copycat around here, so I gotta go look for him. As a side objective, so I gotta keep an eye on the on the bar that's on the left side, because that's like that's kind of like your time limit. Now wonder, I know you can craft weapons in like every Dead Rising, but in this remaster, did they bring back the crafting from that was introduced in the third game, where like it's like instantaneous? You can, like, just grab two items again on the floor and just craft something. Or is it like the classic way of crafting? God damn it! Find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? <laughs> Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three. Who's that, Carlito? There he is. Okay. Oh. Look opening. On it. There's a yellow arrow jumping, jump towards an object of a right height to climb it. Can I get to him on the same level? I can. I got a bat. I can save bullets. He's too far away. I don't got a bat. I'm, I'm just kidding. Got away. Who was that anyway? I don't know. Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry, I've got nothing to tell you. 
Look. I don't know what Jesse told you. But as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Hmm? Who is that? Where did you, you take You help me, I help you. You're one hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot-headed, underhanded, hot-shot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents, and yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. <laughs> You're with Homeland Security? Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story, or not? <sighs> nice, now we're working together. Case one to complete, engage case one three. Level up. Skill acquired, zombie ride. The skill allows you to climb on unsuspecting zombies. You can even walk along the top of zombie crowds. Really? Press A while pushing L towards nearby standing zombies. I can ride on crowds? Interesting. I don't got my bat. Let's go, Brad. Move aside. Weapon, sledgehammer. Grab it. I keep forgetting buttons. Is that it? Hell yeah. Brad, I got us both. Starting to regret letting him tag along to the scoop. Good. Flintlock wood. Sorry. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me safe if passage just open through this these... Gate. Just open no. this gate. It's for I am not protection. opening any gate. 
Thank you very much. I'm going to uh, stay right here. Dr. Barnaby. Safe. Sir. Thank you. And Doc Dr. Barnaby. <clears throat> Doc. Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. And that was case one three. That was fast. Just one objective. Frank, right now you're in the entrance plaza. Looks like you got mm. the shutter open. If you want to change into some fresh duds, just take what you need from the clothing shops out there. I mean, I got a chainsaw. Can I not cut through thin layers of metal? Of course not. What are these? Uh, no. Put it back. Alright, should be up these stairs. Was that Chucky? Kent. Hey, Kent. Good. Hey, you. You're in my way. Can't you see I'm hard at work? I'm trying to take some pictures here. You've got a nice camera there yourself. But you don't know the first thing about photography, do you? Sorry about that. Y you know I happen to be a pro, too. Maybe not as good as you, but... Think you're a professional, huh? Uh-huh. Right. Gotcha. Do you really appreciate the weight the word professional carries? If you don't have the talent, you can't just use that hmm. word like you own it. The name's Frank West. Sorry I got in the way of your shot. I'll just get out of your hair now. Okay, okay. Hang on a sec, buddy. Why don't I do you a favor? I'll have a look at your technique and give you some pointers. Don't be shy now, hmm. Frankie. Here, I'll even model for you. Show me what you can do, and I'll be the judge. What a great idea, huh? Sometimes I think I'm a genius. Let's get started. Alright, when taking photos, note that the larger the target marker, the more PP you will gain from the photo. Also, if you manage to take a photo of a zombie or survivor while they are attacking, being damaged, or in some other non-standard status, the target marker will change color, indicating an increase of potential PP. Low amount, large amount of PP. The color target marker indicates the genre of the photo being taken. The genre that nets the most PP will, will take uh, precedence over the other genres that could be included in said photo. There's brutality, drama, outtake, or horror. Okay, first I want you to take a picture of me while I show off my photography skills. But not just any Perfect. picture will do, Frankie. You have to get 500 PP for my image. I got 700. Nice job. I look damn good in that shot. Next, I'll treat you to my signature cool pose. Get 700 PP for my image. Huh. Okay. What do you say we change locales? All right. Hello? Anyone there? Anyone there? Let me explain. Get the camera ready and just take a shot, okay? We have Somebody's barricaded a woman's clothing shop in Alfredo Plaza. The From the looks of it, two people are hiding in that. how you fell. You're, You're dumb. Seller. That's right. It's time for the Willamette shot. Hey, I'm not posing over here for no reason. You gotta time it right, Frankie. You've got no rhythm, man. Take shots like that, and you'll never catch my pose. Believe you saying 
the Willamette Parkview Mall is the mall. Perfect. Perfect. Nice shot. You did it. Of course, half the credit goes to your model. Hmm. Well, it's in focus. And, uh, the composition's okay, I suppose. Uh-huh. Hmm. That ain't half bad. Okay. Here comes the next one, Frankie. But first... Feast your eyes on my work. Now this is my most emotionally moving shot. <laughs> now this is my funniest shot. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay. This is my most violent shot. Check it out. Ugh. Okay, here's the deal, Frankie. You gotta go out there and take even better pictures than the ones I just showed you. You think you can handle that, huh? Yeah. All right, random side question about pictures. Photo challenge three. Barricade pair A and B. Where's that? Photo challenge, Gold Perez Plaza. I promise Ken that I meet him in the noon at 20th. I have to get an outtake photo at least of 500 PP. Outtake, how do you take outtakes? Okay, so one and two. They're not that far, but eh, it's kind of far. But also go for it, because they're survivors. I gotta save as many as I can. I don't know how many you have to save, or if there's like a specific kind of survivor you have to save to get like the best ending possible. So I'll just do as many as I can. Worst case scenario, you have to do every survivor. Which I don't think is actually possible now that I think about it, because a bunch of them like just die right off the bat when you start the game. Alright, they should be here somewhere. Let me first grab a sledgehammer, something that I can actually do melee with. No, 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 get off. Oh, right there. Move out of the way. Damn it, just what I need. Another crazy person harassing me. What? Oh. Bitch, I'm trying to save you. You want to fight? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, you want to go to the safe house? Ah, no! Get away from me! Don't kill me! That was an accident. Unless you're in a hurry to die, what you'll shut the doing hell doing up here? and follow me. We don't need any extra noise. Uh, uh, all right. Just let me go with you. I really don't want to die. <laughs> You won't, I promise. What is this? Skill. Temporarily increase Frank's endurance thanks to elation experience when changing into a new costume. The act of holding a book is enough to activate its properties. Different books have different effects. Oh, so I have the same inventory. Okay. Heal item. Right. Whatever they don't want it. What's your name? A. Aaron. Let's go. What are we doing here? All right. So the safe house is over this way. It's on the yellow icon. Follow me. Come on. Where is he? Escape commands. When pinned down by multiple zombies, an escape command will appear on the screen. Okay. Y, X, A, or B.
shop at Alfresco Plaza. She walks around an awful lot. It almost looks like she's looking for somebody. A mother's lament. I don't got time for that right now. Mm. You here? You're here. Nice. All right, we're really close. Let's just go. Which way is it? Should be an exit somewhere that goes towards the uh, the safe room. Far away. He was left behind. How was that possible? Hey, hey, Ron. Come on. Nope, get off my dick. Let go. Handgun, here, grab my other one. some meat from the butcher but there was something really off about it there's probably humans then The zombies work with a hive mind? Capturing the queen. There's a zombie plane host to a queen parasite in every large gathering of zombies. Defeat the zombie and get your hands on the queen to use as item. Interesting. Oh, there's larva. What the hell? Gross. Hey, uh, Aaron, don't touch those. Let's go. It's safe here, right? Right? Yeah, don't worry about it. Escort complete. Yes, I did the whole escort. No one's left behind. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The Okut's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We got a line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're going to have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right. We gotta deal with the situation we've been handed. The boneheads back at HQ might be working on something too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. 
Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Um, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. And that is it for the first case, right? Am I done here? The next case will occur at 6 a.m. Passing time. You can pass the time, save points, and advance the game time. In game time. Right, I think this was added for the remastered, because in the regular, the original, you can't do this. You literally have to, have to like wait in game time for like the case to start. Advance time with X. If a communication is received, time will stop advancing. Press Y to advance time even more rapidly. Note that receiving a communication will not pause rapid adva advancement. All right, and that's where we're going to end it. I hope you're watching. I will continue more of this next time. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see more, then come back tomorrow. Bye.